In today's video, we will explore about the solid state and the secrets of structure and bonds. Welcome to the mesmerizing world of the solid state. In this intriguing exploration, we'll delve into the diverse realm of solids, uncovering the mysteries of amorphous and crystalline structures, the enchanting beauty of quartz glass, the different types of solids, and the fascinating bonds that hold them together. First, let's discover amorphous solids. Unlike crystalline solids, amorphous solids lack a regular and repeating atomic arrangement. They exhibit a more disordered structure, resembling a jigsaw puzzle with no fixed pattern. Common examples include glass, plastic, and some types of rubber. Crystalline solids, on the other hand, possess a highly ordered and repeating arrangement of atoms or molecules. Their crystal lattice structure creates stunning geometric patterns that can be seen in minerals, metals, and even snowflakes. These solids have distinct melting points and exhibit unique physical properties. Let's zoom in on quartz glass, a fascinating form of amorphous solid. Despite its lack of a defined crystalline structure, it still possesses unique properties. Quartz glass is made primarily of silicon and oxygen atoms, arranged in a three-dimensional network. This arrangement gives quartz glass its exceptional transparency and resistance to high temperatures. Solids come in various types, each with its own characteristics. Ionic solids are composed of positively and negatively charged ions held together by electrostatic forces. Covalent solids consist of atoms bonded by shared electrons, forming a strong network. Metallic solids are made up of a sea of delocalized electrons surrounding positively charged metal ions, creating a structure that allows for high electrical conductivity. The crystal lattice is a fundamental concept in the study of solids. It refers to the repeating arrangement of atoms, ions, or molecules in a crystal. This arrangement is defined by the unit cell, which is the smallest repeating unit of the crystal lattice. Different types of crystals have distinct unit cells, such as cubic, tetragonal, or hexagonal. Bonds play a crucial role in holding solids together. In ionic solids, electrostatic forces of attraction between positive and negative ions create ionic bonds. Covalent solids have strong covalent bonds formed by the sharing of electrons. Metallic solids exhibit metallic bonding, where delocalized electrons move freely between metal ions, creating a sea of electrons that hold the solid together. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos.